obviously are expecting a much improved performance from the Germans. Yes. Uh, but as Sweden have shown uh, through qualifying and the playoffs via Italy, two games, they're no mugs. They're not great to watch, but they're no mugs. They're very well organised. They've got the two banks in there and the big and physical. That that all that being said, it would be a disaster. Yeah. if Germany put up the same kind of performance. So I am expecting a, a better performance, but I'm also expecting personnel changes. Yes. Three or four, at least, minimum. Well, let's take a look at... We spoke to Raf, actually, and this is the starting eleven. He believes that Jürgi Love will go with uh, no Hummel, Sule coming in, no Draxler, Royce coming in to replace him. Does that make sense to you, Robert? Yeah, because Draxler, I thought, was ineffective in the first game. Uh, Royce has got that little bit more pace to run in, uh, down the side of people. Muller, I think, will go and join in with Timo Werner as much as he can. Uh, I, the one player I'm still surprised is in the side is Sami Kadira because he looked unathletic, he was run past far too easily. I think he's lucky still to be in the side. If this is a Sweden team that are not going to pose the same kind of threat that Mexico did. It's going to be a, a, a more physical challenge in which you'd expect Germany to, to dominate. I also expect that there was some harsh truth spoken since that Mexico game and, and, and Germany responds. I think this is a game Germany win and win quite easily. To your point, Yogi Lowe, as successful as he has been with this national team this last four days or so, is really the most important mm. part of his coaching. Because at this point, everything goes great for Germany, usually in this tournament. Sure. As, everything, you, you can just pencil them in into the quarterfinals, and then from there they take over. Well, now there's some doubt. And I think for the first time, really, since Yogi Lowe took over. And it's important now to see a reaction of a team that has the talent but do they have the same hunger and aspirations that they had in Brazil? And the best thing that could have happened to them, perhaps, potentially, is the fact that they lost that first game. They wake up cold, the attention getter, they have their attention now, and there is historical evidence from Spain doing it in 2010. They can lose the first game, and then you can go on and win the tournament. Here's an opportunity from Germany. I would be surprised if, well, Raf's obviously got information, but I'm surprised that Timo Werner's going to play. He's a player who I thought was going to have a great tournament, but that all went out the window after match day one. Who would but, you have top, up uh, top Thomas Miller. Really? Yeah, but because we, can, we talked about South Korea there. We talk about uh, how, how they camp in. Sweden are going to be camped in the edge of the box. And Timo Werner's game is running off the shoulder. That room is not going to be there for him to get in behind. That's why I'd be slightly surprised, as good a player as he is, that he's going to play in this game. Because I think everything went out the window after that loss to Mexico. Can anyone see Germany not winning this? Uh, no, I don't think they win. The, I think they win the game. I think Sweden haven't got enough going forward to cause them as many problems as Mexico did.